When we looked at the new transport rules for the Space Marines not that long ago, I got a little bit excited about the prospect of sticking three Centurions in a repulsor and sending it towards someone, and it was pointed out to me by several of you that my maths is terrible, which is absolutely true, and you can actually fit four Centurions in a repulsor. Now the thing is, that sounds good, but since we had that little bit of fresh information, I've been unable to decide what to do when it comes to combining Assault Centurions and Tanks, and so I need your help. Now before we get into this, this video is sponsored by Dungeons & Lasers 5 World of Deus Lair. We'll be hearing more from them later on, but right now I'm in something of a quandary. Because we could fit four Centurions in a repulsor. That's something that we could do, and that's something that I'm really considering. Would it be good, a bunch of Assault Centurions in repulsors? Probably not. Would it be a lot of fun? Yes, it absolutely would. And that's the main thing, that's the important thing. That's the thing I am most concerned about at any given moment. Does it look cool and would it be funny to do? Those are my two main criteria for any army that I start or field. And so, in this instance, it would be cool and it would be fun. Now, admittedly, admittedly, I'm not entirely sure that we go for actual Assault Centurions. We might not go for them, because while they do make me laugh and they are hilarious, they are also horrifically expensive. This is £50 for this kit, right? That is a lot. For what are, let's be honest, a bunch of ugly as sin models. Now, don't get me wrong, I still love them. I love the Centurions. I actually really like them, but I like them in that kind of ironic way. If you know you're looking at them and thinking, dear lord, this is hideous, but for some reason it's just, it's just doing something for you. Rather than throw an obscene amount of money at three Centurions, however, I would most likely go somewhere external, perhaps even Element Games, for which I have an affiliate link, which you can find in the description. Oh, getting the cheeky plug-in. Disgraceful. I've forgotten what I was even saying. No, I haven't. I would probably end up going for some Ambots. See, Ambots are far more reasonably priced. I believe at Element they're still like 25 quid, which is way better than the £30 that you have to pay Games Workshop for directly. And get enough boxes of them, you can get up to a decent number of Centurion proxies for a lot less. I mean, you spend 50 quid on Centurions and you get three Centurions. You spend the same on Ambots and you get four Ambots. Plus, I'm pretty sure I already have two boxes of them lying around, so I've already got a leg up in that respect. Besides, when it comes to using Ambots as Assault Centurions, all you got to do is stick a Space Marine helmet in the middle and you're all good to go. Is it cheap? Yes. Is it lazy? Yes. Will it work? 100%. I mean, they've already got melee-based claws. What more could you ask for? Stick a couple of bolters on the Ambots if you're feeling fruity and you're pretty much done. Now, before we get into the transport options proper, this video is sponsored by Dungeons & Lasers 5 World of Deus Lair. Dungeons & Lasers 5 World of Deus Lair is the latest installment in the Dungeons & Lasers series of projects by Archon Studio. And just like the others, it features a shed load of stunning plastic. This time around, though, the focus is on miniatures and not scenery. Over 400 highly detailed miniatures, in fact, complete with a bestiary and a full RPG campaign, which is 5th edition compatible. If you're not playing 5th edition, however, the bestiary has information that is system agnostic. At the time of recording this, the stretch goal value is over 500 euros. And if you go for the novice pledge, which is 89 euros or 80 quid, you get the core set, which is 99 miniatures. You get an add-on of your choice, you get the bestiary and RPG campaign in PDF form, and you get the regular stretch goals. Plump for the Apprentice Pledge and you get all of that, plus the super stretch goals as well. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, 99 miniatures is all I need, don't worry, when it comes to the add-ons, you can choose several scenery sets from the previous Dungeons & Lasers Encounters campaign. So you won't just get a bunch of quality miniatures, you also get some tasty, tasty scenery to use them with. There is only a couple of days left on World of Deus Lair, so you need to get in there now. Check it out using the link in the description and the pinned comment. And thank you again to Dungeons & Lasers 5 World of Deus Lair for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to it. Okay, so the big question, the big question for this, what transport? What do we go for? Do we go for the Repulsor? The Repulsor can take four Centurions, as you all pointed out to me. That's a decent number. That is a decent number. Twelve Centurions total feels like a good number of Centurions. That is three squads of four. That's pretty... De that's, that's decent, right? That is a good number of those chunky, chunky boys. The thing is, do we want a bit more firepower? Do we want to cut down on the number of Centurions in favour of having... A few more guns total. And when I say cut down, I do mean cut down. It would be a significant cut down, right? It would be a significant drop. Because if we could fit 
some Centurions in, say, the Repulsor Executioner, we've got a lot of firepower right there. That's a lot of guns. That could do a lot of damage on the way to delivering the Men of Girth. The thing is, that really cuts down our options. That really cuts down the numbers, at least. Assuming that Centurions will be able to travel in the Repulsor Executioner, it's gonna take, like, what, two of them? This thing has got half the transport capacity of the Repulsor, which means you're not going to get anywhere near as many lads inside. Now, previously, the Repulsor only had a capacity of 10, so they're, they, you know, they're clearly upgrading a little bit in order to make things more fun, more interesting, like you should just ram more lads in there, so I'm kind of hoping that, at the very least, the execution, if it stays the same, we will still be able to get centurions in that transport i mean it can already do gravis and it's just the repulsor standard has been upgraded to allow for jump pack wolf and terminator and centurions you know this may not come to pass but if it does if it does that would be quality we would have more guns we could maybe spread the love out maybe two repulsors one executioner these are all options that are open to us, and I'm just trying to work out what the best way to go is. What really throws a spanner in the works, though, is the Spartan. Because I'd just completely forgotten about the Spartan. I'd forgot it existed. I got excited about the prospect of the Repulsor. But the Spartan is another option for us here. It is another thing that we could do. We could do some real spreading around here. And don't suggest Land Raiders. Not interested in Land Raiders. I'm going to do Land Raiders separately because they're going to be full of Terminators. What I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is, do we spread the love? Do we spread the love a little bit? Do we go a mix of silly firepower and also, and also, numbers? See, this thing can take 25 lads, and each Centurion takes up the space of three models. We could get a good chunk of boys in here, and we could then get some into Repulsor Executioners or just normal Repulsors. Do we what, do one of each? One Repulsor, one Executioner, one Spartan. This is the debate I'm having in my own head. And this is why I need your help. So, if you've got an idea as to which way we should go with this project, which is definitely going to happen, 100%, because why would I not do this? It's brilliant. Let me know in the comments down below. This is a crowdsourced army. We're going to work out this list together, and then we're going to lose every game with it, because that's how these things work. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, and subscribe, all that stuff. Click if you like, don't click if you don't want to. I've already mentioned the affiliate link, but uh, now I've mentioned it again. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.